I had always known my grandfather as a wise and kind man, but in recent years, the dementia had taken a bad toll on him. He couldn't remember any of our names or the countless stories he used to tell me. It was heart-wrenching to see his slow descent into the abyss of forgetfulness. As his condition continued to get worse, our family desperately searched for a way to reach him. We tried everything we could think of. Photograph, music, and even his favorite recipes. Yet, the tick of fog of dementia refused to lift. One sun-kissed afternoon, while sitting with him in the nursing home garden, I had a revelation. I've been thinking away on the project for some time now, a device I like to call a Transcendent Personal Emotional and Memory Facilitator, TPEMF for short. It was designed to rekindle fading memories and emotional connection in individuals with dementia. With trembling hand, I slid the TPEMF under my grandfather's pillow and activated it. The device gently enveloped him in a warm cocoon of soothing sound, familiar voice from his past, and the delicate scent associated with his happiest moments. As I watched my grandfather's eyes well up with tears, he began to speak, his voice quivering with emotion. He spoke of his childhood, his favorite song, an adventure he had. The t unit quickly became a lifeline to the world of memory that he had nearly lost. Each passing day, the device seemed to man the freight tread of his past, weaving together the tapestry of his recollection and emotion. Over time, my grandfather stabilized. He would share stories from his youth and moments with loved ones that we had long believed were lost forever. The device was not a perfect cure, but it was a beacon of hope. Our family discovered that while dementia had stolen many of my grandfather's memory, the t unit had gifted him a lifeline to his past. It offered a newfound source of comfort, joy, and reconnection. In the end, we found our hope not in traditional therapy, but in the power of innovation and love. My grandfather's story, once shrouded in despair, became a testament of the human spirit and the miracle that can emerge from the most unexpected place. While this narrative was a work of fiction, it's inspired by through event. One of those events being that I did build a TPEMF and I'll make it better. And it is designed to go under a pillow. But people frequently inquired about my motivation for engaging in the behavior that I do. Let me tell you, having witnessed the profound impact that this technology can have on people, whether being a friend, a family, or a stranger, I just I just have to disseminate it far and wide as much as possible. After all, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's my family or my friend. It's always the family or the friend of somebody, right? My mission is not merely a desire. It's like a need. I have to reach as many people as I can and as fast as possible to share this knowledge. That's really my drive to do all this, guys. Hey, so, <clears throat> sorry, super happy to show you guys the t pump that I built. Um, this particular model has got two rings and this will go under the pillow. And I was thinking about putting a pressure switch maybe in the future, but anyway, so you got the off button, the on button there, you got the start, you click start and off it goes. I even figure out how to dim the screen and stuff like that, so it will be pretty good. Um, the next unit is not an easy thing to program, yet it is. And when I started, I didn't think the next unit could do multiple frequencies in the same session, but I figured out how to do that, so so that's great. Now, I want to open up a side bracket for a second. We're almost at 700 um, members as the recording of this video. I have one request. If you guys could spread the word, let's say you talk to one or two people each, I would spread it like immensely. Now, 
It's not about growing the channel to make money because I don't make money off the channels. I make connections, which is way more valuable to me. Also, even if I had 10,000 view, if I was monetized, which I'm not, uh, I would make like 10 or $30 for the video. Okay, so it's not about the money, guys. It's about the connection. It's about passing the word. And I've met some of the most amazing people through this channel. I never even dream of something like this happening, right? So let's get back to this guy. The way it works right now, it's hard coded. You turn it on and it does uh, frequencies. It does a specific frequencies for five minutes. It goes off for five minutes. It goes another specific frequencies for five minutes. It goes off for five minutes and then it goes for six hours at one hertz. I wanna explain to you guys why this is all happening. Steve, before you carry on, I would like to say that there is currently no cure for dementia. However, there are treatments for dementia, including medication, that can help with a person's symptoms. The most frequent side effects are loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. Other side effects include muscle cramps, headaches, dizziness, fatigue and insomnia. Thank you, Mr. Voice. Okay, so let's explore the brainwave. And then we're going to talk about the memory improvement the role of the gamma wave, the low frequency PEMF, and amygdaloid plaque, also known as the brain plaque, and the connection it has with dementia. And then after that, we're gonna talk about sleep. And all, all ties up together, and how that t pemf of mine can help. Okay, the five type of brain wave, and you've heard this on the channel before. You got the delta wave, which is 0.5 to 4 hertz and is for the deep sleep. Then you got the theta waves between 4 and 8 hertz for the daydreaming. Then you got the alpha waves between 8 and 12, it's for relaxation. Then you got the beta wave and it's between 12 and 35 and they're for active thinking. And then you got the gamma wave. This is the latest and brightest, by the way. I mean, this is the last frequencies of brain wave we discovered. They're the fastest of them all. And they're associated with high level of thinking, cognition, they call it. And they play a major role in memory, perception, and overall consciousness. So basically, they are you. That's basically where, you know, you're at yourself. And they found out that they happen and also when you sleep. And they are where you're at your most clear-minded is when your brain goes in super high drive like that. And that's why we're going to talk mostly about gamma wave today. Okay, and memory improvement. How did the brain wave connect to your memory? Well, I read a ton of research paper and they pretty much all agree with each other. Any gamma wave frequencies above 35 hertz, obviously, they are found to be crucial for cognitive function and memory. Now, I don't know how to express this in simple terms, but here's, here's the synopsis of it, okay? Anytime your brain goes at, let's say, 40 hertz, it starts to clean up crew in there. It starts cleaning up. It sends a signal to your brain to boost your microchondria activity, which is what cleans the plaque. We're going to talk about plaque in a second. So the gamma wave is the brain car wash. Low frequency t uh, PMF therapy, and how can that help? Well, <laughs> there's many, many results that show that when you're young, you have those gamma wave happening all the time, like, you know, many times a day. Short duration, it happens. When you sleep, it happens. And as you age, this goes away. And if you're genetically predisposed to have less of those gamma wave, you're more likely to get dementia. You got two molecules in the brain, and when they meet each other, these two molecules become sticky. And guess where they meet? In the amygdala. And the amygdala is where you make your memory. So the brain plaque starts, you know, collecting in there. That's basically where you get like you know Alzheimer and other type of dementia illnesses, right? I mean, by the way, dementia is like a broad term. There's all kinds of disease attached to dementia. Steve. Let me share with your audience the seven stages of dementia. Stage 1. No cognitive impairment. Stage 2. Very mild, cognitive decline. 
Stage 3. Mild, cognitive decline. Stage 4. Moderate, cognitive decline. Stage 5. Moderately, severe cognitive decline. Stage 6. Severe, cognitive decline. And Stage 7. Very severe, cognitive decline. Finally, I would like to share with the viewer that sleep is of the utmost important for people with dementia. But since their normal sleep pattern is lacking the gamma wave, they do not get the rest they need nor the brain car wash signal. As such, their condition continues to worsen. Thank you there, Mr. Voice. So, typically during an eight hour sleep, from birth to about two years old, we get eight hours of that gamma wave happening. Um, we're not too sure why, but we're going through many cycles throughout the night. And by the time we're 20 years old, we get about two hours worth of this gamma wave. And by the time we're about 70, we get about 45 minutes of it. And there's a lot of research that I was looking at and reading, and they found that the people with dementia, either on the early stage or the later stage, they had very little, if any, of that gamma wave. And this is where the T-PAMF would come in, where we can simulate that. And they found, when they were doing that with mice and other uh, animals, that the plaque was able to be removed by um, either a 40 or 50 hertz uh, exposure, either with a TPAM for lights or sound. So sending the signal to the brain is important, it's crucial. Um, and if there's no damage done, let's say we catch it early enough, then guess what? We could totally reverse or slow down or stop the symptoms of dementia. Now imagine a future where we have um, a headband like the Neo Iridium or something like that, and it would monitor your daily activity while you sleep. And then if it sees that you're not making enough of this gamma wave, then the TPAMF would kick in and start doing those cycles and we could like line up all those cycles. I think this is a lot closer than we think. Uh, I think we have the ability to do that right now. Um, it would be amazing. You know, if this channel would be the one to trigger the idea or somebody else to, you know, join force with me with this. I think I know somebody listening to me maybe right now that might be really interested in that. So if you hear me there, Mr. C, just come with me. Okay, this video has been going long enough. Um, if you're still here, come join us on Patreon. Um, the calculator is there and uh, you can get that for free there's also a few posts for free you don't have to pay anything um, thank you for the patreon by the way it's growing and we're having awesome conversation also next week i'm gonna show you the build of this unit it's not very complicated you'll be surprised by the uh, simplicity of it and I'm going to try to post the program on the Patreon here right away. I'm still working out some bugs in it. Um, it's working, but it's not adjustable. And I'd like it to be adjustable in the user setup. But um, there's a way to save the program that you make too. But anyway, long story short, I still got a lot of Nexium programming to learn and still running a ranch. Anyway, you guys be safe. And um, I want to coin a new word, the word PEMFL. Those are the people that um, love PEMF or PEMFOs. So you guys be safe out there and we'll see you in a couple of weeks.